Just come straight from a meeting in the building behind me with the Kensington Community Association. And that's a group of people, there's about eight or nine of them I've just sat with for about an hour and listened to their stories about what is taking place in their area. They're all dreadfully unhappy with the state of things around here. They feel they've been totally forgotten about by everyone. And it's, there's been some really harrowing stories of constant crime, gangs of drug dealers on every corner, um, open prostitution. One woman told me that her little children now know what prostitutes are because they see them on the school run every day. Another shocking story of, of somebody openly defecating in, in their back alley. Uh, there was a lady there who's lived here for 35 years, loved the place, said it was the best community going now she's just sold her house and she can't wait to get away and that's the case for all of these people they feel they haven't got a voice um, none of them actually were prepared to go on camera um, or give me their names because they're so scared of of the people around here of the gangs of the crime and they don't want any comeback on them because they're, they're frightened a lot of them are frightened to go out of their house um, particularly at night uh, they say there's a complete lack of community lots and lots of um, big houses and multiple occupants Hello, yes, Liam Thorpe's echo report has all been in vain, that's right, the video you just watched was a report uh, by uh, echo reporter Liam Thorpe on the plight of the residents of Kensington and Fairfield, a April, May 2017, nearly two years ago, Mr Thorpe what has happened since your report two years ago? What has changed? Well, I'll tell you what's changed. There's more rats, more rubbish and more robberies. Talking of rats, the four-legged variant. I was in Otley Street today delivering my new leaflet. And as I got to the end of the street, a big cat-sized rat shot across the road and into uh, the alleyway. Uh, I tried to get me... Uh, phone out to uh, try and video but it was that quick it was gone so if I'm seeing that just leafleting one day in Kensington then what are the residents of that community seeing on a daily basis well that's right it must be appalling robberies are still happening rubbish is still being dumped all over the place and we know who's responsible so Mr Liam Thorpe Echo Reporter what has happened since your report two years ago on the plight of the poor people, the forgotten and beleaguered white working class of Kensington and Fairfield? What has happened? What has changed? Well, nothing. My new leaflets are put out today. Rats, rubbish, robberies and useless counsellors. I've been getting some phone calls. I'll leave my mobile phone number on it. Uh, of support. People are uh, they're happy that someone's there speaking up for them. Right? Because no one, no one is. There's a picture of the three useless counsellors sneering and laughing and the selfie they talk and the public can see what they are. They know what they are. They don't care. If they cared, Kensington and Fairfield wouldn't be in the mess it's in. I'm going to continue leafleting Kensington. This is just a warm-up leaflet. There'll be many more. Uh, and then obviously my final election address. But what has happened, Mr Thorpe, in Kensington and Fairfield? Are the rats under control? The rubbish? The robberies? No, it's got worse. Well, that's why people are going to vote for Jones. OK, thank you.